comprised of 16 members, and we are here to tell you about our product, Tregmigo. Tregmigo is a small care kit fit for travelers who are always on the go, whether on the road or in the air. Why you should buy the Tregmigo is because of the TSA size approved items, emergency items fit in a convenient package and don't take up space, and a percentage goes to the Haitian Relief Fund instead of a large conglomerate such as Walmart or Target. Now on to my colleague, Jim Budget. Um, the responsibilities of our marketing department including designing a, designing a logo, creating inserts for our product, conducting city commissioners for Deerfield Market, Coconut Creek, and more, and running our social media accounts. Spreading the word. To spread the word about our product, we created a Facebook page. We handed out flyers in our school and our community. We attended the Butterfly Festival, and we held seminars in our community to tell members about our product. And also, we emailed Business Professionals of America chapters to see if they were interested in purchasing the travel kit. And to my colleague, Shuri. Good morning. Trek Migo is our product that we sold for $7.50, <coughs> including taxes. It includes the basic travel items needed by your average traveler, listed there. The supply chain process that we followed began with the supply chain department making inventory decisions such as what products should we put into our kit and where would we get those products from. After those decisions were finalized, our team then researched which vendors would offer these products at the most competitive prices. And what we chose were Target, Dollar Tree, Walgreens, Sam's Club, and Paper Mart. Several products were purchased online and picked up by members of the supply chain department and the other products were shipped directly to the school. Once we received all of the products, each member of the supply chain department came together and assembled the kits. Now on to my colleague, Sabrina. Good morning. As of March 17, Rico showed a net income of $195. However, we still needed that $100 that was loaned to us by the JA for our startup of our company. And we also need to pay $37.80 in sales tax. In addition to that, we're contributing $19.52 to the JA bonus program and we are also contributing $9.56 to our charitable organization, the Haitian Relief Fund. This will leave us with a total net income of $28.04, which would give each member $1.76.75. Each member has agreed to contribute their shares to the, our charitable organization, which would give us a total donation of $37.60. Upon our liquidation, our company will have a zero balance. Now off to my colleague, Paulina. Our sales team was able to conduct a training. In this training, we were able to plan, and we, we were able to discuss how we will approach and report back to our company, as well as approach and check back to our customers. We were also able to do presentations. We also were able to present at BPA meetings, and we were able to present to our, our administration at our school. During this presentation, we were able to conduct an on-site, which we sold 20 kits. And also, we also went to Butterfly Fest here at Coconut Creek, and we were able to sell 12 kits. Some of our challenges were teamwork. We all had like different ideas and like we were not able to coordinate. But at the end of the day, we were able to be one and actually conclude everything and just be positive and work with what we have. Some accomplishments we had were to be able to, sell, to sell all 84 travel kits. We learned to work together, we gained leadership experience, and we learned to run a business. And remember, wherever you go, we go. What were your 
biggest lessons that you guys learned going through this process? The biggest lessons I've learned? Um, for um, marketing, we contacted members of like city commissioners and business professionals of America chapter, and we only sent out like one email. And I wish that we would have done some follow up because if we did that, we could have made like more sales. You, you had mentioned that there was a little bit of you know tense conversations amongst the team. What did that teach you about life and business? It's not easy. <laughs> but I think with the right leadership, you are able to accomplish a lot of things. I want to stick with that and I want to ask you, how did you all come together? What do you think was your point of conversation that brought you all together that day where you were all brainstorming and not arguing but really debating 